America's columnist. Here she is, Mary Anastasia O'Grady. Hi, James. The uh, announcement this week that Airbus is going to build airplanes in Alabama, Mobile, Alabama, a new factory It's going to employ a thousand uh, workers. Uh, right. Seems like good news for the U.S. Uh, attracting uh, foreign investment. Well, people in Alabama are very excited about it, and um, I think that the French company, Airbus, well, it's actually a European consortium, uh, seems to have chosen Alabama for two reasons. One is a little bit speculative, but I think we can say that uh, Airbus competed for a, an important U.S. government contract uh, that had to do with uh, uh, tankers. Tankers for the Pentagon. That's yeah, right. and uh, lost that to Boeing. And I think that Airbus may have concluded that if it expects to get U.S. government contracts, it probably should have some interests in the U.S. would be and, nice to have the uh, Alabama yeah. congressional delegation right. behind you when you're seeking that. <laughs> exactly. But, okay, and, so there, there's that, that political element. Right. But uh, what else do you see in, uh, in this European company going to Alabama? Well, I think there's the question of competitiveness. You know, as we know that c manufacturing companies can go all over the world, providing that they have, you know, a workforce that uh, is... Uh, um, adequate for them. And uh, I think that the climate in France for hiring a thousand workers that are going to work in an Airbus factory is not very attractive. I mean, between the minimum wage, and of course you have a new socialist president in France who says he's going to raise the minimum wage. It's going to be, I think, uh, l about 50 percent or more higher than the U.S. minimum wage, and lots of regulation. And I think Airbus may have looked at that and said, you know, Let's go to Alabama, which, by the way, is also a right-to-work state in the U.S., which means that it, it, uh, it's not uh, controlled by the unions in the way that uh, unionized states are. Right, right-to-work state. You're not forced to join a union as a right. condition of employment. Yeah. And this is, uh, now Airbus <laughs> getting into the, this has been a real story uh, in recent years of U.S. airplane manufacturing going well, from Washington State and California, where they had union factories, to the south, and now the Europeans are doing it too. Yeah, well, you remember that um, Congress tried to to punish. Uh, well, the the, the National the Labor NLRB, Relations the, Board right. tried to punish Boeing for going to South Carolina, where you have a right to work state. But you know, I think the lesson here is that, as I said, manufacturing companies can go where they want. So if you create an environment that's hostile to the employer. Um, you know, they're just going to go somewhere else and there are plenty of other places to go.